F N N. We are fake news. President Donald Trump has yet to name his nominee for the Supreme Court to replace the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg. However, he has made it clear his selection will be a woman. And while we don't yet know exactly who she will be, we do know she has a very checkered past, and already multiple accusers have stepped forward to tell of their experiences with her, whoever she may be. This is one such person. We'll call him John. He wishes his identity to be kept confidential for his own safety. John has been carrying his secret deep inside his troubled soul for many years. Today, he sat down with the BBC's Jeremy Ian Rothschild to share his story. I was brutalized by Donald Trump and whatever woman it is that he ends up nominating to replace Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Oh, this must be so very difficult for you. Well, yeah, this is incredibly difficult for me to do, but I, I feel that it's necessary to come forward and expose the kind of woman that Trump will end up selecting for the Supreme Court. Can you tell us what happened in your own words, of course? Well, it was in the 1990s and the details are a little fuzzy, uh, but uh, Donald Trump took me to a strip club, even though I'm gay. And, and he was insisting that I get drunk, and, and I distinctly remember this one stripper who was working herself uh, through law school at the time, um, was up on stage. And, and after she came off stage, she came over to me, and, and Trump told her to do a lap dance for me, and I told her, no thank you, I'm gay, but she insisted, and she rubbed herself all over me. And I was in such distress, I started crying, but she wouldn't stop, and Trump was just laughing. And, and she grabbed my crotch, and she humiliated me beyond belief. And whoever it is that, that Trump nominates it, well, it was that same woman. But why now? Why have you waited so long to come forward with this information? I haven't come forward yet, because I was so ashamed and afraid. I mean, this woman... Whoever she is, is the problem. More than likely, she's very powerful. Uh, but now this woman is being considered for the Supreme Court. I just couldn't wait any longer. And besides, that money from George Soros sure doesn't hurt. Uh, thank you. But this stain on my soul does hurt. And it will be with me forever. Or at least until right after the confirmation hearings. And Mr. Soros' check clears, of course. And is there anything, anything at all you'd like to add? Well, she's pro-life. She owns guns. She goes to church. Oh, she likes cops. Oh, and she drinks vodka. So I think she's a Russian. Well, thanks for watching. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, share to your social media, and leave nasty comments below. Also, follow me on Twitch, where I do a podcast Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. That's www.twitch.tv slash The Jazz McKay Show.